greetings this is especially for cookie mama and kemar i just want to say thank you so much for your support thank you for joining the channel forgive me if i haven't been uploading uh, content for you i just have been very busy but i'm making this one especially for you whatever you're going through today whatever you're experiencing i just want to remind you that our yah is always with us always beside us you know just take a look at the flowers now i'm in my garden and i'm sharing this with you uh, you've seen it on the main channel but you know i just want you to take a close look at these beautiful flowers you know that's how i see god you know what they refer to as god i i see the great spirits when when you look at nature you get to see the magnificence of the most high you get to see the change in season as the different ways in which we are blessed okay and it gives me nothing but pleasure to always be in the midst of fauna so i'm walking through Just recently, I cut this all the way down because I wanted it to spring back. I wanted it to be wider and, and bigger, you know. And that to me was the knowledge that sometimes you have to scale back on certain things in your life and sometimes people as well. For you to flourish, you have to cut them off, cut them out of your life without any apology. Okay. And there are areas of your life that looks dried up. But don't pay attention to that because there is always a bloom beneath all of this dryness. I'm using the plant analogy. I'm using the garden analogy to say to you people that everything that you desire, you can achieve. And everything that you're going through, no matter how difficult, life springs forth of, out of every situation. No matter how dire it is. Take it from me. You know, I've shared so much things that some people would never share on the internet, but I try to be as transparent as I can, mostly because I just want to share my love for, for the creator, my love for the most high. It's like a constant testimony for me. So even when I'm going through those dark moments, I always have to come back to share that all things are possible, but we have to move away from that mindset, you know, that Jesus only I'm sorry, if you believe in Jesus, that's what you know. But you have to get away from that mindset because it's limiting what you can do. And it's limiting your spiritual experience. Let me tell you, some of the things that I'm experiencing, I wish I could just come out and share it with people on the platform. But I can't because they're not ready, number one. And I value it so much. I treasure it so much that I just don't want to give it to any and everybody. Because I have worked hard and I've spent time and I had openness in my mind to know more. There's not a day, Cookie Mama and Kemar, that I don't invite the spirits to come and reveal more to me. And as I learn and I grow and I am blessed because of it, I also want to see my people. But the truth is, many of them don't want to know. I met a woman the other day and... Um, I forgot what she was saying. She was just talking about some Christian things. And I do respect people and their religious beliefs. But when I look at her life, there was no sign, no breakthrough, nothing. And she was telling me about the blood of Jesus. And it was so annoying. And I said to her, so, well, Spirit said to me, ask her, uh, how is the blood of Christ helping you with your husband's situation? Because it was very evident. The Spirit was saying, let her know. That the God that they teach you about, the spirits that they teach you about, you know, come to only keep you in bondage. So when I asked her that, her eyes opened wide. And then she started talking about all the problems she was having in her relationship. And then she said something else. And I, I asked her, Spirit told me what to ask her. And before you know it, all kinds of revelation. The woman who, for a few seconds, was talking about how awesome her relationship is with Jesus really was operating on empty she had nothing left in her tank 
and you can't live your life like that. I want to see all of you guys prosper. I want to see you do well. I want to literally see and hear from the Most High. But there are things that you have to do and places you have to go and positions you have to take on to enjoy this. Listen, I'm no better or different from any of you. The only difference is when I go through problems and I'm facing all kind of trial in my life, I know that my spirit guide is there and always teaching me. So I always try to surround myself with beauty in the form of nature. Because listen, nature provides the answer to everything everything and uh, it is the spirits the great spirits that will come to us and teach us you know in the form of our ancestors but when we see our ancestors in reality is a spirit taking on their form so you can identify with you know our ancestors of the past so you know when I come back I'll share some more things with you you know I make my products that I sell and it's so sacred and so important to me that I don't feel very comfortable sharing too much on my platform because listen, wherever there's negative energy, it affects you and affects what you do. So if you know that people are not receptive towards what you got, then don't waste your time giving it to them. For while I know that there are a few persons on my channel that uh, are open, you know, there are others who just come to you know be nosy and I wish they would take what I teach and use it to see this breakthrough we all need breakthrough in our life but it cannot come unless you're ready to practice practice what you learn and to be open understand this before I leave this is what you have to understand there are three principles about you know getting anything you want it starts out with your intention but more than anything else you know once something is in your mind it's the universe telling you it's available to you so once you get that in your mind you write it down immediately becomes not just a need but something that you want to invite into your life and then you walk to it those are the basic principles but at the same time understand nature you know and the elements of nature you know wind earth fire Depending on your nature, you are drawn to certain elements. For me, it's water. And what that means is, wherever water is, that's where I hear from the spirits. Wherever the water is, and I have my questions that I need answers to, I get close to the water, be it the river or the ocean. It could be in your kitchen or in your bathroom. You have to then find out what is your element so that you can be close to it if it's fire that's where you go and make your request if it's fire that's where you go and you put your intention out there it's simple and it works you know and i found out you know over the years i would know people would say how do you do this or oh you said this i thought it was ridiculous or you said this i thought you were crazy you said you're going to work on monday and thursday you still didn't have an interview and then i see you're going to work on monday i've been doing it over the years but i didn't know what it was I didn't understand. I just know that there's certain times that I am so, you know, powered up, charged up. But after a while, I started to make sense of it. And I had to surrender first. Okay. And then I accidentally, or well, there's no coincidence or accident, but it would seem like an accident. You know, you're, you're, you're cooking your food. And while you're cooking the food, you put too much salt and or you put too much sugar or you put whatever it is you're putting in your food. And then you can't afford to throw it out. And then you try something and then you create something new. So sometimes when you're doing something and it seems like you made a mistake, just ask that, that what seemed like a mistake be converted into something. So as I was going on with my day and you know experiment with some things i remember asking spirit to give me at least one product one amazing product just one i wasn't being greedy i'm like give me one breakthrough product one product that i can benefit from benefit from financially and spiritually and let me tell you i got a product and it is awesome and it comes straight from nature 
and the Spirit gave that to me. And over the years, the Spirit will just constantly give me more and give me more. And now I can stand to you and say, I, I'll never have to work for anybody ever again. Because not only did the breakthroughs come, um, but, you know, I can now capitalize on them. Kemar, I'm going to say this to you because I read your, your message to me. And, you know, in terms of the mom situation, and I'm going to say, find a way to free yourself and release her um, so that uh, there's nothing blocking your blessing, okay? Um, I'm just going to end here right now, and I'm going to say, once again, thanks so much for your loving support, for your kindness, for your words of encouragement, because sometimes just a word of encouragement makes such a big difference. Sometimes we are human beings and we want to say, forget it. I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to keep my secrets to myself. And then when you come forward and you say, you know, this has been a blessing to me, it pushes me to continue. All right? Stay blessed.